All right. Hello again there, folks. This is Sula here. Today we have a new patch that just came out literally a couple hours ago for the Master of Orion reboot. The official title for this game is Master of Orion Conquer the Stars, but most people are calling it either the Master of Orion reboot or Master of Orion 4. I'm not using that name because they don't seem to be using it themselves. So I've been holding off on playing this game for the last week or so just to wait in preparation for this patch, which supposedly was coming out the end of March. It's now the end of March. It's here. And supposedly there's been a whole bunch of balance tweaks and various updates to different parts of the game. This is still an early access game, so it's not finished yet. You might notice that it says that up here. But uh, we'll check it out and see what it looks like. By the way, the music's a nice little callback to the original Master of Orion. So we'll set up a new game, single player. Hailing from the cloudy planet the biggest Altair, change is that they have the new races, so let's check them out. They've also done a rebalance in the on the of Coldon. The insect like Clacon evolved to form the hive. I wish a I could turn off the announcer here. Stretching from drone to queen. Well, we'll just let As it such, talk for a second. The industrious Clacon have no individual needs, no desires, and no ambitions other than the benefit of the hive itself. This effectively makes them tireless workers and fearless warriors, each and every one willing to give their lives for the hive. Having nearly exhausted their home planet, the Hive has begun its galactic expansion in search of more resources and room to grow. Okay, I didn't want to try to talk over the announce, the narrator. So the Clackons have been added, the Mechlar have been added, and apparently the Terrans, who are a new race in this game and are apparently going to be downloadable content in the finished version, uh, have been added to this. So the Clackons are kind of your standard bug race, hive minds kind of deal. They were infamous in the original Master of Orion for having the game's fastest growth curve. Uh, basically what they did was they got extra production from population, which they still do in this version as well. Uh, it looks like in this version they've tried to balance them by making their homeworld mineral poor, um, which causes, as you can see, slower production. So it sounds like they have kind of a crummy starting planet, but once they can get off that planet they do really well. And what's this? Can turn arid planets into cavernous planets. I don't know quite what that means. Maybe we can check that out. I'm planning on playing the Clackons. They generate more food and more production from their population. By the way, welcome, welcome. We're just getting started. So interesting. Looks like if you can get, like I said, if you can get off their starting planet, then it could be quite, quite good. I'm sorry. Oh, scroll over the Terrans. Do we have a request for that? All right. It was during the darkest time. So this is a new race. This has been added to Master of, of Orion. Dawned. They uh, were All not in classic Master world. of Orion. They're Civil basically humans, but society crumbled under the weight. Humans are like the Star Trek humans. Corruption. These are like the and greed. aggressive Mankind humans. Mankind was poised to destroy. They're a fighting race. All their benefits are combat related. <laughs> are they vampires? The first of the cons rose no, to I don't power. think so. Uh, and the other new race is the Mechlar that they've added in this patch. And it looks with like the Mechlar, they've got this neat ability. Their ships the auto-repair after every combat. Is an artificial ecosystem anyway, of let's AI. go ahead and get started. I'm tired of listening Deep. to the narrator. <laughs> uh, I've been liking this so far. It's been, it's fun. It's still not... It's clear, it, Okay, so I played like the initial early access build. It was pretty clearly not done. Like, there's a lot of rough stuff around the edges, but I like the stuff they put in the patch notes. So I've been enjoying the game more on smaller galaxies because there's a lot of planets. And let's try to put the um, let's try to put some of the new races in. Uh, by the way, they still don't have a random option, which they really should. But we'll put the Terran race in because they're new. Um, and new to this version is you can change the difficulty level. So we'll bump it up from average to hard. It was pretty clearly too. Uh, it was a little too easy on the average difficulty. So we'll try hard and we'll see what it goes. Uh, unfortunately, you can't seem to put more than three opponents on a small map, which is a little bit silly. I should be able to overload the map with, like, as many opponents as I want, but... Um, anyway, hi, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, sorry about the... You know, so Lucy Fur to answer to just reference this in the chat, last night Maryland lost to Kansas in the NCAA basketball tournament. If you followed the Maryland basketball team this year, it was such a classic game for them, because it was, like, part of the game they played really well and played up to their potential. They have a very talented team this year, but they didn't always live up to it. But there were always periods throughout the year where they would also just like kind of futz around and they just couldn't, 
they really had a lot of trouble scoring <laughs> was their biggest issue and that really reared its head because last night they were not able to score for like long periods in the second half and Kansas which is a really good team just pulled away I'm actually kind of curious what the pixel ship option is I guess we'll leave it off for now but I'm curious all right so pirates which are like space barbarians balanced starting conditions oh that's nice so you can have a balanced start or you can have an unbalanced start we'll leave the balanced start on Ditch Space North Korea. <laughs> Soccer into the Martian. Okay, sure. We'll go with that. This looks like a pretty solid. I'm fine with that suggestion. And hi, glad to hear that. So in response to Alex Ish's, De Silva's point here is we have a just starting an industrial era Civ 4 pit boss game. If you want to check that out, it's we have a forum thread for it at Realms Beyond. I'll link it in the chat if anybody wants to check it out while Master of Ryan's loading. Hopefully this won't cause a crash. Yeah, we'll see. The Big Ten hasn't really had a great tournament, have they? Um, I still think of Maryland as an ACC team. Just force of habit. Because they were in the ACC forever. Alright, so, yeah. If uh, you want to follow along with our Industrial Era Pit Boss game, that's the thread for it. I linked it in the chat there. It's a Alexis. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm very bad with names, I'm afraid. All right, so let's watch the Countless intro video. Countless drone in the background noise of the Klagon hive mind, as they have for millennia over the surface of Coldon. The grunts of a worker, an infant's wail for nourishment, an elder's last breath. All shared as one, driven by a single purpose, to ensure the future of the Hive. Now the Klakons swarm towards the stars. Their nature is as relentless as it is simple. To devour, to consume, <laughs> the Zerg. to thrive. <laughs> so we're, we're the Zerg, basically. <laughs> uh, so what happened to the last video of the Cylon series is Twitch decided to mute the video for no apparent Idiot reason. And, most beloved hive mind. and I didn't want to this put it on YouTube with no sound. This is known as Fusca. I beg of you, indisputed will of the Legion. Here's our advisor. Ask your servant with anything that you desire. The existence of my caste is to serve, dictate, and linger, most precious. All right. Okay, so we're in the southeast corner. That's funny. That's where my Cylon game was located, too, in the southeast corner. Well, okay, you. great, thanks. All right, well, these are, this is neat. Look at the, we got slightly different scout. So all the different races have different, um, they seem to have different ship designs. Okay, so we do have a moon on our home world, which is kind of nice. That means we'll be able to build. There's, um, you can build certain things if you have the presence of a moon. So here's some other new stuff that they've added. Um, it's nice that our system is now colored with our racial color that was not in the previous early access build. We have a little star for our home world, for our capital, although it disappears when we zoom out. You can see the max pop here. It's currently pop 8 and go to max pop 11, so that's kind of nice. We can see we have one structure. I'm guessing that that's what, the, what stuff that means. Apparently they've added a structure list. Ah, this is very nice. Okay, so this was not in the game before and desperately needed to be in the game. A list of what all your buildings are, and you can sort it by type. So everything's color-coded in this game. So like the green is like food or terraforming related. So what is the cap? So we have a capital building. It looks like you can, how do we turn off the list? Oh, done. Okay, so we can see we have a capital, a marine barracks, and a star base. And if I click on it, it takes me to it. It shows me what they do. Okay, so what does the capital do again? Let's just highlight this. Plus one research, plus one food, plus one production, 10 command points. Okay, cool much better yes i did appeal um it doesn't seem to have worked though oh wow look at how productive these clack on workers are Plus six food for the first worker six here wow okay so why are my guys producing two research they used to produce one re beaker a piece maybe that's another change in this interesting all right so we got the colony ship so this is the same as before they rush by a colony ship on the first turn so what we're going to do is we're not going to we don't need anyone working the first turn because we're going to produce that colony ship no matter what. And then drop down to pop seven. All right. But yeah, look, the production on this world sucks because it's mineral poor. We're going to have to fix that. All right. 
and I guess I'll dump them in research for lack of anything else. Alright, what else do we have? So it's a Terran class planet, it's mineral poor. We have gems, which gives us bonus money. Well, we're getting a lot of money right now. Morale's 100%. I could probably dial up taxes, actually. Let me just see if I can dial up taxes on the first turn. Because, let's see. No one on strike. Okay, so I can't turn it up to 5. But I can get it up to 4 BC per pop and without anyone going on strike, so let's do that, shall we? Yeah, morale goes to 90%, but that's not enough to make anyone unhappy. This screen's been refined a little bit, too. Let's look at the research screen. What enhancement would the hive mind demand from the devisers? Alright, let's look at the tree. I doubt it's changed too much. Oh, so they now have better icons. That's nice. So we have biology, so we can build farms and biospheres. That means we want the one that lets us build factories, is our first choice. You know, we definitely want that auto factory, especially because our home world is a mineral poor planet. We want that. They've added some new icons here too to show the damage rating for this. Cool. Good stuff. <sighs> some of these graphics are a little silly, but. Yeah, the tech tree is actually not that big. Like, it might look intimidating at first, but it's not really that big. And I love the fact that it's all color coded as to, like, what stuff does. It's so, like, this gives us the cloning. Yeah. No, well, they still haven't updated this. The cloning center is really, really useful to get. Population growth minus 25%. That's still written in a super confusing way. Anyway, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. So, we do have ships. We got the same two scouts and a frigate to start. Um. This system has two planets. This one only has one. I'll probably send the colony ship here just because it's core word and it's more likely to have a useful planet. Can you go check this out? We know it's just an asteroid field, but might as well see. Um, I'll send the frigate core word because it's more likely to run into enemies over there. I feel like the animations are a little bit smoother too. And we'll send this one to this system. This will benefit the hive. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, works for me. Next turn. Fusca besieges your attempt. Okay, so first colony ship's done. We have to send it out blindly into the fog. We gotta hope one of these two planets has something useful at it. Okay, now it's back to the home world. Okay, great. So what I really want to build here is an auto factory, but I don't have that yet. Like it's not available to build, so we've got to build something else in the meantime. Um, I don't think we want a factory worker. We probably want the hydroponic farm in the meantime while we're waiting. So how many beakers does this cost? Hmm, it's gonna take us a little while. Turn off advisor pop-up. Yeah, there's probably an option to do that somewhere. All right. Wow, these guys do not build anything fast. It sucks having a mineral poor home world. So if I put these guys on food, uh, yeah, I do actually want that to finish sometime soon. Five turns, seven turns. All right, I'll run the six food guys because that gives me the best returns. You know, all this stuff's diminishing returns over time. Hmm. Interesting how the clackons get like this awesome production bonuses, but they start out from like a really slow spot. Slow start. It's weird because it's like the reverse of what they were in the original Master of Ryan. When you can mine the asteroid, I don't know, but doesn't that? I don't think that produces a whole lot. It's a good question, actually. Uh, I also don't know if I have the tech to... I don't know if you start with the ability to mine asteroid fields. I think you have to research that. Let me look at that. But I think that that's something you have to research. I could be totally wrong on this. I just don't know the game that well yet. Especially because it's still in development. Maybe they start being able to do that right away. I just don't know. Jump gate. Oh, that's where jump gates are? They moved that up. Yeah, they moved that up further in the tech tree. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It's probably like three out of five stars right now with the potential to get better in time. Something like that. Oh, hey, we ran into somebody. The Mechlar. Start. This is the overseer of the Mechlar Combine. Contacting unknown naturally occurring life form. Com frequencies locked. Interesting. By the way, that's the same name that one of the names they could generate in the original Master of Orion, CX1138. Alright. Go 
check that out. Oh, that's a really good planet. That's going to be better than my capital, like, right away. That's a really good planet. Large, arid, abundant. Nice. Paint damage and prox. I don't know what that means either. <laughs> good question. So we've got a perfect spot for our... Um... Oh, whoa, Mechlon's right there. Holy crap, you need to get there and blockade them from getting in to my territory. If I can set this frigate up right here, I can stop can stop them from reaching into my systems and that'll be really really useful all right go check that out okay that is a pretty crummy planet um because it's only max pop five interesting all right so we also can start to see where some of these star lanes reach interesting that the mechlar are so close okay great thanks and somebody else is... Oh, those are space pirates. Okay. Well, we'll deal with them when they get there. So that's a scout. We don't want to fight it, but we will blockade this spot. And you... Wait, no, I have a scout. Just to make sure there's nothing, not something better here. I highly doubt it. That's a really... Well, it's radiated. <laughs> like, this is a good planet in a lot of ways, because it's large and rich, but it's radiated, which means there's no food. After terraforming, it'll be an excellent planet. But this world here, oh my god, this planet. Warning. You are exceeding the tolerance threshold for Mechlar interaction. Resistance is futile. Please, most precious. Yeah, I'm definitely colonizing this world. Sorry. I don't care if they dislike it. It's way too good. This is like a dream world. <laughs> they can dislike it all they want, but we're definitely setting up shop here. Okay, so we want to get this in place, and this is the kind of thing we actually want to rush by. Actually, we'll probably rush by the factory, the auto factory, once that's ready. All right, because we can build rush by that in like a couple turns. So yeah, I'm going to hold position here and blockade. I don't know how long that'll last, but I'll try it for the time being. And you just go out exploring. Uh, down here, maybe. In fact, I might want to build a couple more scouts, because it seems like I could use another scout or two. Yeah, the homeworld kind of sucks in this game. I might have to use the homeworld more for um, for research and less for production because it's just so bad at building things. We're going to have to really develop this planet here. Alright, so I've successfully blockaded this Mechlon ship for the time being. Alright, you can go off in this direction. And we're about to discover the next tech. Will of the Legion, this is for your consideration. What's that? Have my compliments, alien. I am the cause they seem to of like the me. Alpha system. Long have my people suffered in the past, but be warned, we will abide no more. He seems pretty emo. Um, it might be going on YouTube. I don't know. All right. So they are over here somewhere. Is that a colony ship? Yeah. Interesting. Let's talk to them. Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to be had get good relations with the Mechlar. At least we are at peace for right now. Welcome to the Hall of Cons, alien. The Hall of Cons? What do you propose? See here, equity is paramount to the Conate. Gratefully accepted. Okay. Fare thee well, alien. Alright. Wait, is this their home system? Yeah, that's okay, that's their home system. Wow, so they're not far away either. So their home world's here. Hmm, I'm kind of squeezed between two AI home worlds. That's not great. <laughs> well, we'll do the best we can. Yeah, it's pretty crowded, right? Three home worlds here, here, and here. 
So if there's somebody like over here, might have an edge. Anyway, where's the elect? Oh, electromagnetic disturbance. Okay. They thought that I was listening to some, like, Dr. Dre song or something like that, which I'm pretty sure I was not listening to. Well, uh, the Legion, this is for your consideration. Hmm? Do you even know who Dr. Dre is? Yeah, he's a hip-hop artist. Alright, so, we probably want this tech so we can build a research lab and, a, and the Tier 1 morale building. Both of them are quite useful, and it's an inexpensive tech. They made the first tier techs a little bit more expensive and the second tier techs a little bit less expensive. Because like before, these in their first early access build, these techs cost like nothing. I think they cost like 12 research points. And then these ones cost like 65. And it was ridiculous how much more they were. But yeah, I think we want the tier one government. Um, yeah, like morale government thing. Okay, so what do we have here? They got a scout that we pushed back and there's a Space pirate fleet there. We gotta chase them away or they'll blockade this planet here. So let's take we them out. The Legion. This is for you. Where did we detect an anomaly? Oh, up there. There it is. If I still had a scout in this system, I'd go check it out. Alright, so here we let's get a chance to see what combat looks like now in this new version. Like space cars, the space cars. All right. Um, so that's them. Here's my ship. What the heck is all this? Match speed, ceasefire. I don't have the faintest clue what any of this stuff means. Does just let the AI. Oh, yeah. This is gonna take some practice to get used to. I'll just let the AI do this fight. Ceasefire, match speed, retreat. I don't know what any of this stuff means. <laughs> Let's zoom in a little bit. Good job, kill that first one. Okay, good job. Well, we're doing a lot more damage than they are, so that's good. I don't know what I don't know if those beams are doing any damage or not. I have no idea, like what does this mean? I chose manual. <laughs> well, yeah, I wanted to see the fight. I didn't want it to just be auto-resolved. Okay. Beam accuracy, 51%. Okay, so we didn't take that much damage. Okay. You're gonna have to go back over there and blockade. I think that I can, um... Oh, that's a nice system. Several planets there. I think I have the ability to heal up, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so we discovered the first tech. I think I might as well finish the farm now. Can I do it in one turn? Yes, I can. At the cost of some pollution, but that's okay. So we'll finish that and then build the factory. I'm going to rush by... Um, yeah, I'm going to rush by the... Um, Auto factory here. How much does it cost to rush by? Oh wow, they increased the cost to rush by too. Because it was formerly 240. I'm actually okay with that. I uh, like the idea. Okay, well, we can all rush by this next turn, and then we'll have some food coming in, which is always good. Alright. And I've got people growing here, which is good. Okay. okay. Get there. So, yeah, they've got their own frigate, which is not damaged, unfortunately. So we'll guard them. Try to block, continue to, try to continue blocking that off for the time being. They have a colony ship that's just sitting in their home system, which I'm totally fine with, by the way. Alright, so we finished the building here. Great. 
Unfortunately, with this planet, it really needs its a factory. Four turns. Yeah, let's do this in four turns. We need to get that done ASAP. And here, rush by that. And then, uh, let's see. And then queue up the auto factory next. This is going to have to be like my my top planet. It just don't take a while. It's got to start from scratch. So I will definitely use some rush buys to help that along. All right. So we can see there's. Hmm. That's a nice planet. That's an even better planet. Although it is medium sized, it's a better. These are both very nice worlds. Especially compared to that last game. I don't know if I can get here before the. Um. What are they called? The Terrans over here? Like, they're pretty close. And I also have to worry about the Mechlar being so close. I hope that that's not a dead end system. If it's like. They should probably be able to head in that direction. If this is a dead end system, then they are definitely coming for me. Alright, so they're. Oh, wisest of all, please ponder over this. Yeah, the problem is these guys are going to attack me, and my ship's already damaged, so I don't think I can beat them. We, like, our ships start out being the same. That's an okay world. So I think this is going to have to come back here to heal. Can it heal at one of my colonies? I honestly don't know, but I'm going to assume it can. Alright, so we've already got scouts on those two worlds. That's one of their scouts. Uh, in that case, let's head down here and scout out this system. Okay, so building the auto factory here. Here we built the... Um, look at that, plus eight food, geez. But we need to get that auto... F actually, no. Let's, let's rush food here, and then I can get a second population point out, like so. And I should also look into designing a new ship, because I might have to do some fighting here. Frigate's the largest hull size I have. Ooh, alternate frigate. Interesting. I like the red design the most. Alright, titanium armor nuclear drive. What specials do I have? No. Neutron blasters. So how much damage do these do? Total DPS. Four of these. It says these are the strongest weapon. there so it can hit targets. Alright. Alright, um... What's this using? Master, forget. Alright. How much does it cost? Oh wow, that's pretty cheap to build. Alright, we already looked at that world. Okay. How much does it cost to rush by one of those, just out of curiosity? Cost 270. Okay, that's expensive. Probably two more than I can afford right now. 272. Okay, my ship is healing, so that's good to know. Your ships heal when they're over your colonies. I didn't know if that was the case or not, but it looks like it is. That's a scout. So it's kind of nice, it, it's interesting having AI neighbors real close. Alright, that planet's not very good. I do wonder where the Sokka are located. They're probably like over here and have half the galaxy to themselves. Okay, you just guard here for the time being. Homeworld, alright, is building the auto factory and polluting in the process. 
this planet's growing to size two, where I'll be able to work one farmer and one um, factory worker. Are they trying to attack me? Hmm, they're actually trying to attack me, okay. Well, I'm not at full health, I'm almost at full health. So I have four... Oh, is this the upgraded design? I guess it is. Well, we'll see how this works. Can I tell what they have on their ship? Let's try. So they have, all right, so they have nine lasers. I have four, they have nine of the older laser weapon. I have four of the upgraded laser weapon of the neutron blaster. I guess we'll find out which works better. Uh, looks like mine's better. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna go on a limb and say mine is better. Shoot him. Yeah, they're trying to retreat, I think. Shoot! Shoot! What are you doing? Fire at them! What are you doing? Attack! There we go. Okay, I think we're gonna lose this fight. It was looking like we we're gonna win, but then they just sat there not firing, like again and again and again, which I don't understand. <sighs> God darn it. That sucks. I don't understand. It was just like there was this lengthy period where I did not fire for a long period of time. I, I don't understand that personally. Core axioms of the Combine oppose your very existence. Great. Wait a minute. I thought my ship was the one that died. What the heck? Why is my ship still alive? I thought my ship died. Was it their ship that died? Am I, like, missing something here? I don't quite understand that. But in any case, they said that they are at war with me, which means we're going to kill their scout, which can't fight back. So I don't understand that at all. Ooh, now that is a very nice world. Very nice. That's the next target for colonization, is that world right there. Hmm. It did say, oh, it said victory is in I-1. Okay, I thought my ship blew up, though. Like, am I crazy? I thought my ship blew up. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> I was rooting for their ship all along. <laughs> okay, so I was rooting for their ship the whole time. Wait, my ship is the one that has the nine little guns, not the not the four upgraded guns, is that right? I I don't know. <laughs> they're like for a speck of your time. They're like, you're rooting for their ship the entire battle. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Apparently so. Well, I maybe I guess because I was defending maybe because I was defending my ship started up at the top or something like that. I so, I don't know. Anyway, so we finished the initial buildings here. Um, boy, we're really slow to build colony ships, aren't we? Nine turns. Um, let's build a couple. Actually, I should probably let's build one of the another frigate. Yeah, let's build another frigate, and then we probably want to we we want probably one of the space factories so we can build a defensive structure on the border with the. Um, the Mechlar, but we need another frigate first, so let's build that first. Okay, I can get it in three turns, admittedly still polluting, but that's okay, we don't care about pollution. Although if I do this, I can grow a turn faster. Well, let's grow a turn faster. And here we're going to grow next turn. Alright, let's do this. At least this game's had action like right away, which is cool. Not just like sitting back doing nothing for ages on end. 
Alright, so you scout out this system, head off to the next system. And you... Alright, so the Terrans did finally colonize a second planet. They have one of the worlds in this system. Both of the systems planets here are really nice. This so, will benefit the hive. Yes, I know how population work growth works, thanks. Oh, it was cool that both planets grew at the same time. Okay. Just gonna have to keep polluting. <laughs> We're gonna need pollution cleanup in a bad way. Okay. And on this planet, we want this. One person on each of the... So we're getting max... Wow, Klakon population is amazing. Look how good these guys are. Six food, five production. That's crazy good. Of course, we're going to be unhappy at the next pop point, which is fine. Um, we'll, we'll dial down the tax rate once that happens. I'm probably going to rush by this as soon as it's done, too, just because I'm trying to get this world up to speed ASAP. Although, actually, I think it might be better to rush by a colony ship out of the home world, because it's so poor at producing things. That might be better. Alright, you can go check out... Actually, uh, this, actually, this system has no planets in it, so we don't need to check it out. That is a long star lane right here that connects that long star lane. Alright, let's see what's in this system down here. Very nice system. And this plant ship's still healing up, so that's good. I told you, guard. So there's only one planet in this system, but look, a lot of star lanes getting off in different directions. Alright, how's this ship doing? Alright, almost healed. I don't know why it does that. So yeah, we're not researching very fast right now, but I don't think we need more tech at the moment. Can I dial this down? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so minimize pollution for this turn. Alright, so we have a new ship. To GNN. Someone probably Galactic has three planets. News Network. That's you my are guess. tuned to GNN, the only network that tells you what you need to know. Bringing it to you live. Galactic News Network, the galaxy's most reputable news source. Okay, do they have anything to report? I guess not. So one nice thing about this game is I like that the AI is really willing to be aggressive. All right, early on, like this is not like Civilization where you have a lengthy grace period in the beginning of the game where the AI just won't declare war. Like the Mechlar were like, okay, we don't care. It's five turns into the game. We're declaring war on you. <laughs> Uh, and they have colonized a planet up here in the Yarek system, so they obviously have the ability to move in that direction. All right, but anyway, so you come over here. Can I, like, see what's on the ship? I wish I could see, like, what weapons are on the ship from here. All right, and you are healed up, too, so let's blockade this system. All right, so we want to get one of these out. Space Factory, and then probably get a colony ship next. How much? Does, so how much does it cost to rush by a colony ship? So, oh wow, 700. Okay, well we won't be doing that anytime soon. But I think we do want a Space Factory to start fortifying in here. <laughs> All right, yeah. See what's on that world. Not a. Very, not an especially desirable location. All right. Um, why don't you head in this direction? So I think this ship might end up, the scout that's down here might end up getting these planets scouted. Let's see what's in this system. All right, you can start checking these planets out. Artifacts world, but otherwise not. Uh, it's just an okay planet, not terrible. The one that we really want is... Where is it? I think it's this one? No, this one in this system. Yeah, ocean, medium, abundant, very nice. That'll be the one we'll want. Okay, and the worlds are growing at a nice rate, which is always good to see. Alright, yeah, this planet's developing well. It should, though. It's a great, great planet. 
And we do need to finish that tech at some point, but... Pirate fleet. Okay. That's fine. You just don't go to that world. Yeah, so that's a pirate base there. That's what that means, that there's a space pirate base there. Geez, there's some gorgeous planets down here on the bottom outer rim. I wish I was in better position to claim these, but I'm really not. Just the way the map shakes out. Happens sometimes. Alright, so you block this entrance, and then this ship's going to come over to help with that. Oh, so this is where the, so this is where the space pirates are coming from, the same one that came into the system before. Obviously from that planet there. Oh my god. Holy crap, look at this world. Large Gaia abundant artifacts. This planet is unbelievably good. Is there any possible way we could get down here before the Terrans can? <laughs> this is insane. Look at that world. <laughs> Large Gaia abundance. That is the single best planet I've seen in this game so far. <laughs> Almost as good as Orion. Wow. I have no idea how we could possibly get down there before they could, though. Why couldn't I have this starting position? This starting position is so much better than mine. Well, anyway. Yeah, I'm disappointed I don't have, like, colony ships out yet, but it's just tough with that homeworld being weak and with the mechlons being close and being hostile. It's made it a little tricky. Alright, you guys guard that entryway. At least this planet's doing well, too. That's a pretty good planet, too, because it's rich. Yeah, everything on the bottom edge of the map looks great. Can't get there, though. Okay. So let's just check this out first to see if I can... Build an okay, so I can build an asteroid mine here. All right, might as well do that then, because I really can use the production. So you can do that from the start of the game. I wasn't sure if you could. All right, so we finished the space factory. Let's start work on a colony ship. Uh, biosphere would be nice, but let's get the. I think we want a colony ship. I need um, that first tier upgrade that gives you more plus one production per cell. I need that in like the worst way, but that's not on the tree available on the tree yet. Okay, so we finished the first two buildings here, do the biosphere, and then I'm not sure. Maybe we'll start building colony ships here too. Uh, this oh, we need the morale building, but we can't construct yet. I'm gonna have to drop taxes when the, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to lower taxes as soon as we get done researching this tech. Pirates threaten the hive. Yep. Okay. So as expected, that's a space be pirate base. Guard. So not that strong of a base, but strong enough for right now. So they should be unhappy, as I predicted. No surprise. I did have the taxes dialed up extra high. Alright, so colony ship under production here. Still costs 600. Uh, probably not worth it. Alright, let's do that. Um. Yeah, see, the problem is, I do this, except when I, they grow, they're going to be unhappy at the next morale point, so we'll just do this instead. Finish the biosphere, and then probably build something. Okay, Colton has grown. Okay, good. Please, most precious, note... Where did we find an unknown life form? Space monster. Uh, way up there, there's a space dragon. Wow, they made the space dragon a lot stronger, in terms of power. 
And, ooh, an ultra-rich world. Cool, it's toxic, but it's ultra-rich. Toxic worlds are not that hard to terraform. Okay, so that's nice. I wonder how we can get up there. Um, so where was that anomaly we spotted earlier? Right there? We'll have to send a scout to check that out. But that's a little too far out of the way. Maybe I can build another scout to check that out. Anyway, uh, we'll head up in this direction and see what's next. So a little bit of a slow start. Let's check the bar graphs just out of curiosity. Alright, let's put everybody on the bar graph. Okay. So, Army, the Mechlar just built another ship, but that only makes them even with me. Popula oh, that's good. So I'm doing well in population. Always good to see. Everybody has two colonies, credits. I'm actually doing well in credits, too. Kind of surprising. Okay, so I'm reasonably happy with my situation, all things considered. So when this thing gets in the system, we're going to whack it with our ships there. Oh, must be another space, probably another I space pirate base. No, it's Orion. Oh, we found the Orion system. Okay, so there's no reason to go into that system. Uh, there might be another Stargate out of it, in a different direction. Alright. So let's whack these two. Alright. So, trying to get better at this. Okay, let's try to figure out what the heck this stuff does. So this is my speed dial, I take it? I don't know what this dial does. Alright, how about, okay, so they're both, let's attack this, so I can tell them which one I want them to attack. Let's try this, try attacking this one, because, like, there's a much cleaner line of fire. Like, there's no asteroids in the way. Alright, speed it up until they're closer to each other. Alright. Now, see, so, like, now you guys have a bad line of fire. How about you move out of the way of the asteroids? Okay, and now... Fire. Oh, I don't know what that was, but did a lot more damage. Okay. So, I think we took a little bit of damage. I'll heal up the damage they took. Alright, we took 8 damage. So, who took damage? Uh, one of them did. This one. You go back to heal for a turn. Easy enough. There's a Guardian. So the Guardian is 61,000 power. <laughs> My ships have like, what, 200 power? So yeah, we won't be able to deal with that anytime soon. Radiated planet? Okay, not terrible. It's rich, but it is radiated. Welcome. GNN. This is probably someone Galactic getting the third planet Network. settled. Yeah, Sakura. Has grown in strength, spanning even more planets and showing no sign. Okay, good for you, Sakura. All right, so biosphere's done. Now I want to build the research lab, but I can't do that just yet. So we'll start on a colony ship. I think this planet's already yeah, this planet's already got more production than my home world, which is kind of funny. We'll start on this, but then we'll build um, the research lab when that when that tech comes in. Oh, up oh, space factory! I think we go kill that thing if we can, unless they're willing to sign peace. I'll ask them if they're willing to sign peace. Oh, he won't even talk to me. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad that that features come back from the original Master of Orion. I always thought that was cool how sometimes like they were just like, no, we're not talking to you. It doesn't matter what you say. Okay, so as expected, this connects over to there. So we'll check out that other system first. So meanwhile here, colony ship five turns. Not too bad. Unfortunately, we got a long transit time over to this world here. How about the world planet in this system? Uh, it's rich small, but it is a rich world. Probably should grab that because it's strategic in that it blocks off. Um, yeah, I 
probably blocks off the Terrans from reaching this planet, Einhorn, although I did not scout that system. But, um, yeah, I think we want to grab... Well, this planet's much better, but it's a lot safer, too. There's no one in this area. We might find we might want to grab this planet next. It is rich. <sighs> Always makes for hard questions. Okay, so they are starting to build that... construction thing to block off their system. I'm going to move, move in there and try to kill them. They didn't finish it yet, did they? I don't think so. Well, we'll check it out next turn. Oh, wow, that system's got a lot of planets in it. We gotta get down there. It's really unfortunate that there's not an easy connection from my homeworld to this system. I gotta go down and around. I gotta go around and down, because like this cluster here is really good. But we'll deal with that. Okay, and yeah, Orion is not a dead end. It's like a whole bunch of other systems here. That system has no planets. Um, so let's check out this one here. Oh, hello. Go there instead. Go to the Anomaly. Just this game's version of a goodie hut. Alright, how about my world's colony ship under production? Still polluting away. <laughs> We're about to discover that government tech. And then we'll build research labs on both of these planets. Okay. Is that a scout? Yeah, that's a scout. Okay. The All right, government research done. Two very useful buildings, research lab down. and government faci research facility. Okay. What does this one do? Gives us the next whole class up and other stuff. Okay. Useful for fighting. I think we probably want to go to the cloning center next, though. It's such a useful building. Well, this is the first level pollution cleanup. Could be nice, too. What else is on here? Scanner. Weapon accuracy. Class 1 shields. That's useful for fighting. More food. Relocation of population. Alright, I think we're going to go for the cloning... Well, actually... Let me think this through. Normally the cloning center is the way to go because it helps speed up population growth, but the Sakura grow really fast. Not Sakura. Um, Clackon seem to grow pretty fast. So I feel like that's slightly less needed. It's still probably the way to go, though. Just a really useful, um, quite useful building. So I guess we'll head in that direction. Alright, you guys. Is that a, so what is that? Is that the space outpost or? Uh, okay, so those guys are stronger than, well, stronger than me because they have three frigates to my two. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. Uh oh, that's not good. No, move back. No, retreat. No, get out of there. I don't want to fight you guys when you have all these ships here. <laughs> oh no, okay, so that's the military outpost. I was going to say, I don't know what this thing is. Oh boy, that's not good. Alright, so we're, we're probably going to have to retreat from that battle. Because they brought an extra ship to the party. Anyway, uh, we do almost have the colony ship done, so that's nice. Anyway, so I can buy the colony ship here. Now, do I want to do that? It will... I don't think I do. Uh, I think it might be better just to let this finish. Alright, alright. Let's do this. Rush by this. Put everybody on food. Then I'm going to have to build more ships because I'm going to have to defend on this world. <laughs> Hopefully I can retreat these ships before they get pummeled. You come across the broken oh, remains of an sweet. unbelievably advanced alien... We just found a free tech. Most revealed, wow. The hive has foraged the ruins That's really and nice. An enhancement for you. We just flat out got a, a free tech. 
I'll take it. That was a very nice benefit. This one up here. We can now build that uh, credits building. I'm going to stay on this research, but it was still really nice. It was second tier tech, too. Cool. Alright, now I get to try to retreat my ships out of this battle, because they will probably manual, and then we're going to try to get them out of here. So they added the ability to retreat in this patch version. Alright, so my ships, so these are their ships right here. Can I see what they have? So they have four neutron blasters on these, their ship design. And I have nine laser cannons and four, okay, I'm not going to win this fight, so we need to get the heck out of here. Apparently you can retreat if you get to the edge of the map. It's like what they've said. Okay, so where's the retreat? No, I want to retreat. <laughs> like, that's what they've said, that there's an option to retreat. Abandon battle? No. I don't want to simulate the battle, I want to retreat. <laughs> Where is the option for doing this? Supposedly you have to be at the edge of the battlefield. Like, I was reading this. Where's my retreat option? Oh, they have like formations now. I'm really curious where the retreat option is. Oh, here it is, retreat. 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 Oh, I had to select it at like the beginning of the battle, I guess. I told them to retreat. They're not retreating. What What the heck? I told you to retreat. Retreat. Don't fight them. You're going to lose. Why is this so complicated? In the original Master of Orion, you just clicked retreat and they just retreated instantly. Great. Good job, guys. I don't, I don't understand. I clicked retreat and they didn't run away. They just sat there and died instantly. Whatever. Well, that's frustrating. <laughs> Some of these things are not as intuitive as they should be. So, great. Now we get to rebuild a fleet from scratch. I mean, I guess this is what happens when you're learning a game, but boy, it's frustrating. It's like, why is it not just straightforward? Why, why is it complicated like that? I don't, like, I don't understand. I knew full and well that I was not going to win that battle. And it was like, retreat! Run away! Retreat! Don't sit there doing nothing! Getting shot at! Whatever. Frustrating. And no one in chat said anything, so apparently they didn't understand it either. <laughs> um, so that's a note, just like a small minor note to the people making this game. Please make it more intuitive on how to run away from battle. Anyway, un so... Oh, uh, whoops, that's not... Oh, I've got the wrong thing. I thought I had the colony ship there, but I don't. <laughs> Might be a short game. I don't know, we'll see. Like, I, again, I, I could have done better in that fight if I had not been trying to run away and not running away for most of the battle. Yeah, I'm just a little frustrated by that, because, like, that's my my fleet. It should be... It should be more intuitive what you're doing. Anyway, um, they are... The AI has not been coming over here to kill me, so that's nice. So there is the actual colony ship. We'll be going up to four planets pretty soon here, so that's good. Alright, so that's... Unfortunately, we're going to need to build more of these frigates. At least they're cheap to build. Possibly disable the AI. I thought I did disable the AI. Maybe I didn't, though. Like, I thought I had disabled it. I guess not. Okay. 
So I wanted to build one of those outposts here, or whatever they're called. Um, yeah, military outposts, but this is an unarmed ship, so it's just going to die if I don't protect it. Oh, and we got pirates incoming too. Awesome. Well, that's always fun. Yeah, so part of the game is you learn by doing. I think maybe if I had clicked on retreat immediately, they could have gotten out of there. But like you see, the AI is not as aggressive as it should be, because like it's not coming after me. You are now before the hierarch of the Sacra Brood. Threaten not my progeny, and you and yours may live on. Anyway, I'll learn. I'll live and learn. It's all part of the game. Let's see what we can find out about the Sakura. Uh, timeline graph. All right, so credits is score seems to be pretty worthless. All right, so in terms of army, the Mechlar are in first. I'm now in last after losing those ships, but not by a lot. Um, I'm second in population of the Sakura. That's pretty good considering how fast they grow. And they have wow, everybody has three colonies except me. That's not great. I do love the bar graphs. Of course, I have two colony ships en route, so that's going to help me a lot. And my homeworld is mineral poor, so like, I have a slow growth curve starting out. So all things concerned, oh hey, that's where the soccer apparently started. Cool. And it looks like the Mechlar are, are expanding up here on the north side. Oh wow, hello. The third Terran planet was here? Wow, they went straight to the best planet, didn't they? At least my relations are pretty good with these guys. Welcome to the Hall of Calms, alien. Oh. What do you propose? I wish there was more we could do here. Alright. Never mind, there's like no diplomatic options just yet. Okay, so goodbye. Very well, alien. But they seem to like me, so that's always good. rich. Yeah, I don't really like my local neighborhood that much. I really like the starting position for these guys. Like, they have a lot of really nice planets near them. Starting right on top of the Mechlar has not... has not been so great. <laughs> yeah, see, here comes their fleet. And here comes pirates, too. What, like, seriously, what the heck? I don't know how they managed to fix up their ships. Oh, you know what they did? They're probably healing up their damaged ship. Alright, so we're going to finish this, and then I don't know what else we can build. Hopefully we can build a... So we're going to finish this. Build a missile base, hopefully. Hopefully we can get that done. I don't know how we're going to get it done, but we can try. <laughs> Starbase would be nice, but it's double the cost. So how much does this cost? I doubt I can build this in time. Four eighty, yeah, that's probably not happening. But we'll give it our best shot. Yeah, I don't know why there's no random option. Like that's incredibly easy to do from a coding standpoint. It's the kind of thing you'd think that they'd put in. Yeah, so my whole plan... So I guess my whole plan really fell apart when I moved against Mechlon. If I had just stayed here, I think I would have been okay. <laughs> stayed here and built a defensive point with the space factory, which is what I was going to do. But yeah, like I said, you live and learn. Maybe we'll get to work. Maybe I should start building one here in the home world in case I lose this system. Oh my god, they're ringing in more frigates? Yeah, I understand how morale works. Great. Oh, lovely. So now they've got four frigates. <laughs> uh, you guys want to sign peace? <laughs> A waste of up. Enter trade correct. Simulation error. Error 403. Forbidden. Simulation error. Solution is outside domain. Simulation error. 
Hmm. Does not look like they're interested in signing peace. Alright. They don't seem to have any interest in signing peace. <laughs> well, in my defense, they had like a hidden fleet that pounced on me the instant I moved into their system, and I couldn't retreat because the controls are like WTF, I don't understand. I was like, in my defense, I don't understand how the game works right now. But like, even though I'll be able to build these two ships, it's not going to be enough. I don't know if they have any- now, I don't know if they have any bombs on their ships, so who knows about that. Yeah, this planet's gonna have to fend for itself over here. So, that's good. Hmm, farm, all right, so I get six food and I get three production. All right, so I get more food than production. So I think we'll grow a pop grow somebody first because the I just get a bigger yield from the food, so we'll grow somebody. All right, and then while building the auto factory. That's another nice world too. Also, I do think the scouting, this starting position was pretty difficult. Like, this is clearly a really bad starting position because these guys right here have, like, this whole southern part of the galaxy. The Sakura have the whole western part. The Mechlon have, like, the whole northern part. And I'm just crammed between everybody in the middle of the galaxy with nowhere to go, really. Hmm. Let's see what they decide to do. Alright, so they're going to blockade the planet. That's not the worst thing, necessarily. Does mean that morale goes down. Alright, because I'm being blockaded. But the good news is, I can have a chance to build a military base. Oh, wait, no, I don't, because blockade means you can't rush by things. Crap. I really like that feature. Again, from a design standpoint, I love the fact that you can't rush by when you're um, blo being blockaded. But in this situation, boy, is it terrible for me. <laughs> I can't rush by this thing out. Um, yeah, I'm in a shockingly bad situation here. Like they are, they, as when, like when they smashed that fleet of mine, I, it left me in terrible shape. Like really bad shape. Although maybe I'll get a chance to test retreating again. So there's always that. And while the other races are like sitting back and colonizing, I'm stuck building ships trying to defend myself desperately. <laughs> yeah, they weren't kidding, right? They've done a better job of um, creating different planets, that's for sure. Yeah, so like if I had some time here, I'm sure I could like work my way through this. The problem is I'm not getting time just on me right now. Oh wait, I'm still getting unhappiness? Uh, I, th I think we'll just have to deal with the striker then. That sucks though. Alright, so four turns into a missile base. Let's try that. We'll try to build the missile base and then hit them when it's done. That'll be our goal, moving... and see if we can break this blockade. Maybe they'll even get distracted by the pirates, who knows? It's worth a shot. This planet is not as good. All right. So it is a rich world. Do you start on the farm? Yeah, that works better. Okay. Well, interesting times here. All right, that's a gas giant. That's a huge barren world. All right, let's see what they do. There's a decent chance they're gonna bop over here and try to hit my... Nope, they're gonna keep blockading. Okay. I'm okay with that. All right, you guard. All right, so the good news is it doesn't look like they have any bombs on these ships. Like, so that's good news. Um, yeah, it looks like they're all lasers, no bombs. So I can finish this missile base and strike back at them. I'm just keeping the space factory over here for right now. I want to build a military outpost on that tile. Maybe the pirates will even come in and they'll fight each other, which would be pretty funny. You can just hang out there for... Actually, go ahead and build a surveillance system. 
Why not, while you're just hanging out there? No, I think ships can all retreat. I could be crazy, but I think that that's just an innate feature. I just don't think I did it correctly. Whatever you're supposed to do. So, like, this whole northern part of the galaxy is unoccupied, too. Alright, three turns. Yeah, because, like, they're blockading me, but they can't actually do anything. Like, they don't have an invasion force, they don't have bombs on these ships. Like, if they did have bombs, it would be a lot different. Uh, anyway, wow, we are really hurting on pollution here. Um... I really need to get some research done. Let's do this. At least I've almost maxed out on pop. That's really good. Build this and then maybe another colony ship. Oh, and I'd really like to scout these worlds too. I should build another scout, actually. Scouts are really cheap. Let's do that and then a research lab. Uh, and there's the research lab. Okay, where is that? Up there, okay. Oh, there's another space monster. A space eel. That's new, I haven't seen that before. I think I check it out. Small Baron Rich, okay. Alright, so two more turns until this is done. Do they get to fight it out with the sock with the space pirates? <laughs> Alright, so finish another scout. I really should have built this scout much earlier, to be honest. And like sent it out a long time ago. I'm just hoping that the um the pink Terrans will stay on friendly terms with me. Because if they if they were to attack me, I'd be in pretty bad shape. Alright, so, I'm going to finish the missile base this turn, so I'm going to save this to make sure I understand how this works. Save game. Because, like, I think... No, actually, yeah. I think what I want to do is move here, and then when they attack me, it'll be my ships plus the missile base. I think that's how it works. I sure hope so. The blockade's been broken. Oh, cool. I'm going to assume that's because of the missile base. I don't quite know how it got broken. But anyway, we do have a missile base. Um, also, I think I will spend some of this money to help speed along my developing worlds over here. So 200 to that planet. And in this system, we'll get that auto factory done shortly too. Okay. All right, let's see how this works. I did save it, so if I don't understand the mechanics, I'm willing to reload here just because I'm trying to learn. I'm thinking that I'm going to fight them with my two frigates and um, that missile base. Okay, so it did not work the way I expected. And the missile base is not done. Apparently I have to wait one more turn. Okay, so my ships will die. And we're going to reload because I thought I would have that missile base. I did not have it available. Silence are victorious. Okay, so where is it? Here it is. So I only sent them in under the assumption that the missile base would finish. It looks like it will finish after one more turn. So we'll keep them here, wait one more turn, and then send them in on the following turn. All right, annoying, annoying. Where, wait, where's that scout? All right, I already moved it. I'm trying to learn the mechanics. This is the retreat button should be active at all times. Okay. Sounds like they're still working out the kinks of that whole system. All right, so same thing as before. Do the rush by that we did before here. Queue up the factory next. And this time I will move these guys after the turn rolls. Okay, so they fought the space pirates and killed them. 
it took no damage. Now I have a missile base done, which means we should have that if we fight. Actually, no, I don't even want the research lab. I want the morale building that we have so we can get out of unhappiness. All right, so again, I should have the missile base here for this combat. Save this as well in case this doesn't work the way I expect, ex understand it. So I should have the missile, yeah, all right, so we have the missile base, yes. All right, so let's watch this. All right, you guys came, you're gonna get some now because unfortunately you brought no bombs on any of your ships, so you had no way to actually hit my planet. All right, so where's my stuff? Here's the missile base. So let's see what's on here. Laser cannon, nuclear missile. Nuclear missile. All right, cool. Where are my ships, though? Oh, they're way back there. Okay. Yeah, that looks like it works just fine. Hit that one. I actually want my ships to hang out back here until they get close. I'd rather the missile base taking damage, at least until they get into range. off. So we're attacking which one? The one in the front. Okay, the one in the front. Let's see how much damage this does. Alright. Missile base, pretty good. I've learned missile bases are pretty good. <laughs> Just took that took that right out. Alright, everybody should be attacking the same target though. I don't want you to die. Let's get you out of here. I think the missile base has got this. No, hit the one that's all taken damage already. No! Alright, that's it. I was trying to keep you from dying. Yeah, the missile base took, like, no damage. <sighs> that last screw you shot. Alright, well, we still blew them up. Blockade over. Yeah, that's right, come get some. That missile base was pretty nice. Alright, good stuff. This is gonna have to heal up, but, uh... I think we're back in business now. And I'm gonna get you up here. You can... Oh, cool, it's, it saves partial progress, that's nice. All right, back in business. We need to get this striker back to work. And it is not GG, as some of you <laughs> thought it might be. So we, we still in this, boys. <laughs> so you're going to have to heal for a couple turns. In the meantime, you get up here, and we're going to build a defensive blockade thing here. Anyway, hi Buffalax. Sorry, I was focusing on the battle. I didn't see, was not watching chat the last minute or so. That's a nice planet too, although I doubt we can get up there anytime soon. Okay, so we've got four worlds. I'm about to rush by something here. The auto factory as soon as I have enough. Help this planet get started. So, um, it's been an interesting opening to the game, but we're, we're rebounding. It helps that the home world's almost maxed out. Then I'll be able to, on population, then I'll be able to start having it crank research. So yeah, research has been especially slow, because I've been having to focus on production. Oh wait, there's a... Oh, they're trying to build a... Soccer are trying to wall off this system. Well, they already have a planet in here. I also want to go grab this, take out the space pirates sometime soon. Otherwise they'll keep harassing me. All right, and actually, did I, so how badly did I smack the fleet of the uh, Mechlar? Let's see, so colonies, uh, yep, so I have four. What happened to the Mechlar? They only have two? This is colonies, right? So I have four, that's three. This bar graph is kind of weird looking. 
Army. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so I just jumped way up in army power. Let's see if it updates next turn. Threatening fleet. A scout from the Mechlar. Okay. Not that threatening, I suppose. Um, so did it upgrade? Update the power bar graph. Yeah, alright, so I just smoked the Mechlar fleet. We don't even need to make peace right now. We can go screw with them, because they are they have like nothing according to this. At least up until they yeah, up until they finish go kill their space factory. And maybe mess with their home world. They've added a lot of stuff. They like refined a lot of things. I'm playing a race that they one of the races that they added. So that's a um so, wow, the Sakura have both of those worlds colonized, apparently. And we grew on this planet, cool. Alright, so you keep building that auto factory. Or wait, no, this is the planet I don't have anything on yet. I should probably rush by that. Thank you for linking the patch notes, Noxgath. I'm sure some people are interested in seeing that. Just make sure there's nothing here. No surprise. So yeah, the north side of this galaxy is pretty open. Like, the Mechlon started here, so everything up here is open. The other big question is, does Alpha Seti connect to Einhorn? I don't know if these two systems connect. I'm hoping they don't, because then I have a, like, a window to get up here. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> Alright, so this ship's now healed. Alright, so you start building. We want a military outpost right here. Um, I'm going to head in this direction and see if I can scope out what's on the north side of the galaxy. Meanwhile, here we revealed one of the... Oh my god, look at this world. This is a soccer world. Look at this. Large, arid, abundant. Very nice. Very, very nice. Alright, meanwhile, the home world's going to max out and pop next turn. It's also going to finish a research lab. So good stuff. Then I think I'm just going to build some colony ships here. This planet, yeah, we'll finally get its morale building done. Then we'll probably have it build some colony ship soon too. And these planets are just getting started. Like this is going to be an excellent planet down the road. This planet will not be an excellent planet because <laughs> it's a small desert world. But you know you work with what you, you've got. Alright so I'm curious what's in this system. That's why there's a scout heading over there although I really should have checked that out earlier. Uh, this planet is probably worth grabbing sometime soon too even though it's radiated. It's a shame it's not toxic. Toxic's easier to terraform. I don't know, so to answer your question, Galactic Civ is just a very different style of game. Like, it tends to play a lot different. I don't know if it's necessarily better or worse, but like, it's a very different feel of a game. I, so, my feelings are similar to what Noxgath has just posted. I liked Galactic Civ 3 when it came out. I didn't like the changes they made in patches. Like, they, I felt like they were trying to change it into a different game. This is a good planet too, we should probably try to grab this one. It's barren, but barren can be terraformed into like desert. And it being huge is very nice. I also, uh, and of course the really nice planets are down here, but I can't reach them. We also might want to try to go after them. Oh, they have a colony ship. Oh, I'd love to be able to smack their colony ship and kill it before it can move out. I don't know if I'll be able to do that though. Alright, so this is a structure. Can I destroy that structure? Alright, boom. So we blew up that structure. Cool, ha ha ha. You get up here too. These aren't particularly strong ships, so I don't know how long we'll be able to do this, but um, I'll keep screwing with them as long as I can. Also, we are still polluting at a really nasty rate here. So we need to clean up the pollution sometime soon too. <laughs> We should build this because it's really a really cheap building. Alright, that gets us down to at least one plus one. Uh, 
Actually, I think I'd rather have another colony ship. Alright, and this world, Regulus, um, now has gotten out from under its morale burden, so that's good stuff. Alright, let's get the research lab, and then probably build a colony ship from there. And we're actually making good money, so that's always a good sign. The clack on research assistant character has weird eyes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I do, so I feel, I felt that Galactic Civ 3, like, didn't improve, they didn't make the improvements I thought they were going to make, if that makes sense. Like, I thought they were going to focus on developing certain things, and they just didn't. Look at that, they've walled off their home system completely. Yeah, I don't think the mechanics were thought out with the AI in mind either. I think that's a very accurate one. Um... Like, they, there's some things they could do that would just be so simple that they don't do. So, like, one of the big issues with Galactic Civ 3 is that it's really easy to just... You can stack as much movement on ships as you want. Like, there's no limit to how many engines you can put on a ship. So you can put, like, six engines on a ship and move 20 tiles in one turn, and there's no way the AI can, can handle that. It's one of those things that's just, like, head-scratching. Uh, I also really should send a ship to explore this anomaly, because it's, like, right there. Um... So, like, they could make really simple fixes, and they just haven't for whatever reason. Alright, so they've got a colony ship here. The problem is they've got defensive structures, so I can't kill it. See the two little... the, the two? That means that they have, like, two missile bases or something. So, I wonder what they have on this world, though. Let's go see. Is there anything on this planet? Oh, it's a gas giant. Never mind. So... Well, at least we know what's in here. So here's a military outpost. I don't think these frigates are strong enough to get through that military outpost. But um, if this colony ship tries to move like over here, we can smack it, which would be funny. Yeah, and you can build ships that can see 25 tiles away. It's just like why they didn't bother to put balance stuff in place to handle some of this. I don't understand. Okay, so we got... The we're not going to update our design. Because we're not putting death spores on our stuff. All right. Um, so the good news is we have the cloning center, which is quite nice. I think I want to grab this. It's a cheap tech, and it'll let me build a, the next hull size up, which is destroyers. And I'm gonna want this. This wait, not space elevator. Where's the this one here? Neutron collider. That's what I really need for my home world. So I think we'll go for that pretty soon too. Fungal farms might be nice on some of my weaker planets, um, but I really think I need that. I don't need soil enrichment that well. Um, I'm going to need this, the atmospheric renewer, because I have a lot of pollution stuff going on, so let's do this. Grab um, destroyer holes, and then grab the pollution cleanup tech. Yeah, it's like, so as Noxgath is saying, there's a reason why these games put limits in place. Galactic Civ just completely ignores any of those limits, which is cool, because like you can design ships that do all this stuff, but the problem is it doesn't, like the AI is completely unable to handle all this stuff, and that really makes the it really hurts the game's um, replayability. Did they fix the problems with having to manually build every structure? Um, there's some automation tools in this game. I don't know if it, they're great though. It's one reason why I wish you could play maps that didn't have as many planets on them. Like I feel like there's too many planets on a lot of these maps, even on the small map that I'm playing, um, which would mean less need for that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, so Homeworld's doing some research because it's maxed out in population. We're building a colony ship. We're researching pollution cleanup. This planet's doing a research lab, and then it's probably going to do a colony ship after that. And then these other two worlds are just getting started, but are coming along pretty nicely, especially this world. This is going to be a very nice planet after it gets some of its basic infrastructure in place. Get the tech for blowing planets up. <laughs> I'm very curious as to what's over here, because this could be a good look destination for a colony ship, too. I also really need to put some kind of blockade in place here, just because I want to seal this off. I want to keep the um, Terrans from coming up here. I want this area to be mine. So it would be useful to build some military ships and fortify this spot to keep them out of here. 